Welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Tim. You may know me by now. I handle all the sponsorships for our Drupal cons. Uh, so first of all, welcome, and more importantly, thank you. Uh, you guys are truly the driving force behind our Drupal cons, making sure they're great events and everyone's there and the community gets strengthened because of these things. Not only just our Drupal cons, but all of our Drupal.org improvements and just general support of the Drupal Association. So from the DA and me included, we appreciate it and just want to share our thanks. Uh, this is the About Your Sponsorship Benefits uh, for DrupalCon Barcelona 2015. This is just a general webinar describing how to fulfill your benefits, about your sponsorship, any logistics and coordination that may be involved, uh, we will be having another webinar later on in September about really how to maximize your sponsorship. So that's going to be more of a strategy focused, best practices, and how to really, truly prepare for it. So to get started here, first thing I want to cover is just the general website. Uh, if you are a part of DrupalCon LA, it is a very similar format and from all of our Drupal cons from here on out will be very similar format. Um, and the first thing I really want to take care of is to go over the tickets. Uh, as a part of all your sponsorships, you will be given a set of tickets, free tickets for the Drupal con. Uh, I have yet to send you out the codes yet, but you will be receiving these soon. So how you want to go to redeem these codes or if you want to buy purchase extra tickets, you want to go to about tickets. Once it's loads, you'll see this register now. If you want to scroll down, you'll see some more information. If you want to register specifically for the business summit for one day pass for other tickets, um, but generally you just want to start by going to the register now. It'll generally you right to this page. So when I send you a code, uh, instead of just a coupon code, I'm going to be sending you a set of actual redemption codes. So depending on how many tickets come with your sponsorships, you'll get that many res uh, redemption codes. When you get those codes, you can send those to the employees or to your clients or friends. You can use them to however you want to, but you want to direct them to here. And then they'll enter in their reservation code and continue to redeem their code as follows. You'll see that uh, since I'm already logged into the account, my D.O. name is already there. And as I proceed, all the general information will be continued to be filled out. So that's for the tickets that I give for you for free. Uh, if you want to register for more tickets, you want to take the following procedures. So enter the amount of quantity that you wanted to come. Say I just want to buy one more extra ticket. Uh, if you want to buy some business summit passes um, and one one day pass or two one day passes, again, you don't need to do that. If you just want to do one, that is fine. But for the sake of this example, I'm going to go ahead and fill those out. You want to continue to registration. And again, since I'm logged in, you'll see that my uh, email address that is synced with my Drupal.org is already filled in. So let me stop there and uh, remind you that anybody that is registering for a ticket or redeeming a ticket needs to be using a web or an email address that is associated with their Drupal.org name. So if you are registering uh, attendees for other people, for other people within your company or for clients, you need to ensure that you're using their Drupal.org email address. So how this works, uh, many of you may be familiar with this, but just for the sake of making sure everyone knows, you'll see that, again, my email is automatically filled in. But if you are registering for someone else, you want to delete this, enter in someone's email address there. And if I am registering for someone else, you have the option to either fill it all out for them. So this is all going to be personal information, t-shirt size, meals, uh, preferences, and just some past history with Drupal cons. Or you can opt in to just simply have the code emailed to them and they can register themselves. 
So again, I had uh, filled in for a ticket, a business summit pass, you'll see right here, and a one-day pass. You can do them all separately and register each attendee appropriately, or you can just leave everything a blank, and uh, some blank reservation codes will be generated. So for this example, I'm just going to leave them all blank and continue to registration. You'll see that it totals up uh, everything that I have purchased thus far. And here you will see a section for coupon code. This is for any discounts or coupons that uh, you may receive. And right now I can tell you that as a sponsor of DrupalCon, you all will be able to purchase tickets at this early bird price. Uh, currently, the early price applies to everyone, so there is no coupon code. But when uh, early bird pricing ends, I will send you a early bird code, which will you'll be entering here. So I will say early bird code, and you want to add coupon, and then this amount will be discounted appropriately. And then you want to fill out your billing information and simply continue to next step. So. That is how you will use your tickets and register any attendees that you are responsible for. Another thing that I want to cover from the DrupalCon website, again, it's events.drupal.org forward slash Barcelona2015, is all the travel and hotel information. Um, our conference venue is the Barcelona Inter International Convention Center, otherwise known as the CCIB. That's what, how I'm going to be referring to it from now on, and that's how it's going to be referred to in the event kit. Um, our partner hotel is the Barcelona Princess. This is actually a pretty fantastic hotel, and as you can see, it's only a two-minute walk from the venue. Uh, we have reserved quite a bit of blocks for sponsors and for DrupalCon attendees. So we have a fixed rate that um, is quite a bit discounted to the average rate. So I totally recommend this hotel for those reasons and also for the fact, you know, this is where everyone's going to be that is a part of DrupalCon. This is where the 24-hour lounge is going to be. And if you click here, you even see that the um, Barcelona Princess has even created our own separate landing page to ensure that your rates are the rates that we have reserved for you. So if you're uh, reserving some rooms for people within your company or from yourself, just go here, click on reserve room, and it'll take you directly to this landing page where you can make sure you get the rate that we have reserved for DrupalCon Barcelona. Uh, this travel page will also be a good uh, reference if you need any visa invitations. So if you're not sure if you need a visa, simply click the visa requirements for Spanish visitors and you can find all the information you need here. And if you do need a uh, visa invitation letter, contact us and we'll be able to send one for you or for any attendees that you may be sending along. Last thing I want to cover is the closest airport will be Barcelona El Prat. Uh, it's about 20 minutes away depending on traffic. And it's also one of the more central um, airports within Barcelona. So if you're going to be flying in, I recommend uh, you taking this airport. Instructions on how to get there from the airport can also be found right below. Uh, the last thing that I want to show you from this website is uh, our boss, otherwise known as Birds of Feathers, and how to submit your business showcase. Um, not all sponsors have a, an option to do a business showcase session, but uh, I want to make sure I cover it here for everyone that is going to be watching the recorded version. So first we'll cover BOFs. BOFs are not available to be submitted yet because we are still in the session selection uh, process, but as soon as that is done, this is where you'll be able to submit it. Program BOFs. Uh, what a BOFS is, is basically a conversational session, so this is not a presentation, there is no slides, there is no audio and visual. It's basically a chance for you to submit a topic that you're passionate about, that you know will create an engaging conversation. People want to join and jump in 
collaborate together, share ideas, and basically, you know, cover topics that are important to not only you, but the community. As soon as the BOF is open for submission, this is where you will want to submit it. And this is done on a first come, first serve basis. So if you are interested in submitting a BOF, it is important to stay up to date, continually check the website, so I will be sending out uh, reminders, but um, again, this is a first come first serve basis and it's open to the entire public. So to make sure to stay on top of it. Uh, for those of you who can submit a business showcase session, uh, I want to remind you that the deadline is this Friday. Um, so two days from now, September 25th. Uh, and you'll see that the session submission is actually closed to the general public. But since you guys are sponsors and this is a paid um, session, you'll be able to submit it through the um, business or through the event kit or through the link I will be sending you in an email. So just as a reminder, uh, your business showcase session needs to be submitted here in the next few days. Uh, this is because we will be announcing the session uh, selection and this is when the traffic or web traffic really increases and so if you want to ensure maximum exposure for your session it is important to have it up there when all the other public sessions are announced all right so now on to your sponsorship uh, first thing I want to cover is a new tool that has been created which is a sponsor calendar Again, this can be found right here under Sponsor, Sponsor Calendar. And essentially what this is is a list of all the due dates and all the important dates that may be important to you. But let me stress that all these dates are not may not pertain to you and your sponsorship. So this is why we have the Barcelona Event Kit. What's special about this calendar or about this list is if, say, you are sponsoring the developer contest and you need – you know, to add this to your calendar, you simply go here, copy to my calendar, and you can save it to your calendar directly without you having to really take any other extra steps. If you need to see it in a month view to see exactly what's coming up soon, you know, you can see that today is the 24th, and two days from now, the business showcase session is due. If you want to add this to your calendar, you can do it directly from there. So now on to the Barcelona event kit. Um, Yes, this is a 31-page document, and it may seem pretty intimidating, but as I mentioned before, not everything will pertain to you and your sponsorship, and I've tried to organize it in a way to help you skip past everything you don't need and really only focus on everything that applies to your sponsorship. But the first thing I want to cover, which essentially does apply to everyone, is our two exhibitor uh, partners, that being the CCIB and Reza. The CCIB uh, will handle all your ordering, any catering that you may need, any internet you may need, booth installation or dismantling, um, electrical services, carpeting, basically everything you need to exhibit at the exhibitor services. So this is why they have required or they're asking you if you are an exhibitor, so if you're in a booth or a lounge, it's important for you to come here read through the CCB, CCIB general rules and regulations, fill out this form, and send it to the CCIB. Here you can see the email directly there, but I have also provided the link right here. So if you want to send it via email, simply click the link and uh, it'll take you right to your email address. Um, one thing I would like to point out is August 31st is the deadline for um, avoiding a 20% surcharge. So if you want to get a 20% discount on ordering any of these things, be sure to do it by then. And again, I've tried to make it as easy as possible. So if you want to add this date to your calendar, I've linked it right here. Scroll down to August 31st and you'll see the last date to uh, order your things and you can uh, – View more details if you want. I mean, it's essentially the same thing, and save it to your calendar directly from there. Um, so to go more into depth with the CCIB, and probably more important for you, 
is the CCIB Exhibitor Services Kit. Um, all sponsors are required to order any sort of electrical and carpet, so everyone will need to come into here at one point. Um, what they've done is they've created this beautiful website, as you can see, which is uh, dedicated just to you guys. This is essentially the hub to order any equipment or any services that you may need. If you're a silver sponsor, you have your own dedicated silver hub right there. But if you're a platinum, diamond, gold, or lounge sponsor, this is where you want to go. So you will need to create a, uh, an account with the CCIB, which I have already done. And to start off, if you are a uh, booth sponsor, select your gold and, uh, or platinum and diamond shell scheme. And you'll make any special notes that you want here. And then you'll see right here, this is where you can type in um, your company name for the sign that will be included with your booth setup. So uh, this is going to be how you want it to be shown in print and shown to the public. Uh, once you're done that, you know, you want to order it to your cart. And the next important things would be your electricity and flooring because as I mentioned before, all exhibitors are required to order carpeting and to order their own electricity. Um, most sponsors will only require the bare minimum of electricity. This is for any sort of charging, um, laptops, basic monitors and screen. But if you uh, are gonna have a grand setup and you expect to use more than the general output, you'd want to uh, go through here. And um, I can't really stress enough how important it is. If you have questions that deal with sort of these sort of things, yes, I am glad to help. But to speed up the process, I would contact them directly. Again, you can see their contact information down here. It's also littered throughout the event kit. But um, going directly through them will save me and save you tons of times and it will avoid um, any errors that I may have or that may happen in the entire translation process. So to go to order your carpet, which again, oh, which again is required, you wanna to go to uh, flooring. And you'll see that you have the selection between blue, gray, red, or green carpet. This chipboard platform is not required. It's basically a way to spruce up your setup a little bit. So you'll see that you noted here, the chipboard platform does not come uh, carpeted. So if you wanna order this, you will need to order carpet as well. Otherwise, just order which carpet that you need. Um, your gold sponsorships are three meters by two meters booth. The lounge sponsorships are three meters by three meters. And any of you platinum and diamond sponsors out there, it's six meters by two meters. So that's a good way to uh, base off from there. Also, what you can find in here is if you want to order catering, this is not required, but uh, if you want to say serve beer, serve soda, serve snacks, really anything at your booth, this is where you will want to go to order it. You are not allowed to bring any outside food or beverages um, into the CCIB, so if you do want to, this is where you'll need to do it. The last thing I'd like to point out to... Uh, you sponsors out there is if you are a sponsor that is not going to be demoing products or services, you will be fine with the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi will be free and available to everyone. But if you do expect to, um, you know, demo something or you it is of utmost important that uh, internet is fast and reliable, I recommend ordering a network drop. Again, the Wi-Fi will be free, but it's not guaranteed uh, speedy. So as you all know, Wi-Fi can be shoddy at some times. So it's important if you are really reliant on a speedy internet, please order it through here. The next thing I want to get into is our shipping, handling, and drayage partner, Reza International. They are going to be the ones who will handle as I mentioned, any shipping, any handling, any material handling, any drayage, really anything that you need to do with 
getting your goods to the CCIB. Um, they have provided us with a shipping manual. In here, you'll be able to find really everything you need to know. So I recommend going to here, looking at what you may find important. And again, just like with the CCIB, if you have questions, I will gladly answer them for you. Or if you ask me them, I will end up asking the Reza directly and then having to go back to you. So that's just an extra step that will be added. So here's their contact information and here's where you can find all the services that they uh, offer. You'll see deadlines, you'll see um, the shipping labels, really everything you need to know. But something I want to stress right now is that we highly recommend you ship to their advanced receiving warehouse. Um, this will save you so much time, so much hassle, and really ensure that your products, your items, your booth arrive on time securely, and they will even ship it directly to your booth location. So there will be no handling, moving, transporting involved as long as you ship it to their warehouse. So you see the date for that is if you are outside the Eurozone, everything needs to arrive at the advanced warehouse by Thursday, the 10th of September. If you're within the Eurozone, it's Monday, 14th of September. And again, if you want to add this to your calendar, simply click the link and you can do it right here. Um, if you're a tote bag sponsor or uh, you do want to ship something for catering, uh, the deadline will actually be Wednesday, the 9th of September. So those are our two uh, exhibitor partners that I wanted to make sure to go over. And again, if you have any questions in regards to them, contact them directly or go through me and I'll find it for you. On to the event kit. We are here now, so congratulations. That's the first due date off your list. The next webinar, as I mentioned before, will be the 9th of September. This is about how to maximize your sponsorship. Uh, this is really more a strategic approach, how to gather leads, how to make the most of your time there, and really just a general best practices. So I recommend registering there. Uh, Megan Snacky will be the one presenting that, and she's a pro. So if you want some good information, if this is your first time out of Drupacon and you want to know what to expect, please do so. Um, but again, this will be available online just like this one is. So this is probably the most important page of the event kit. Um, as I mentioned, this is a 31-page long and complicated document, but not everything will apply to you. So this is the best way to navigate through it. And how it's built out is you start with finding your sponsorship. So if you're a core sponsorship, meaning if you're a diamond, platinum, gold, or silver sponsor, you are a core sponsorship. If you're any one of these sponsorships below, you are module sponsorship. So what you want to do is you find your sponsorship, and in this, you will find all the details, any sort of due dates, and basically everything that you have signed up for uh, per the perspectives that you have worked out with the account manager. Within the, your sponsorship, you'll be able to go down and see all your benefits and how to fulfill them and any dates that per pertain to that sponsorship. So you find here, and you'll probably end up linking down to one of these. So let's start off with the core sponsorship. So if you are a diamond, platinum, gold, silver, this is where you want to look and how this is laid out. Uh, your benefit is in your left column. The deliverable date or due date is on the right column. If you're not sure what, you know, what is an ad in a program guide, I've linked it down to the bottom. So you click it and here you'll go. You'll see everything you need to know about that ad. The due date, again, which is going to be linked directly to this calendar for you to add to your calendar or just for you to review in the future. Um, if you're just going to look to see um, when things are due, say, when is my business showcase session due? It's due to June 26th, which is this Friday, by the way. Or if you're just curious to see what comes with your um, sponsorship, here is where you want to go. Obviously, a dash means you don't have it. 
And if it has some sort of information there, that means you do have it. So go through that if you're a core sponsorship, follow the links, learn about it, and make sure you get these deadlines on your calendar. So now say you're a module sponsorship, uh, particularly the lunch sponsor. Again, not everyone is a lunch sponsorship and all these things may not pertain to you. But how this is laid out, again, a brief description of what it is, everything that is included in your sponsorship uh, per the perspectives that you guys agreed upon and how to fulfill them. So one thing I do want to go over while I'm here is the fact that or the benefit of posting jobs on DrupalCon job board or Drupal jobs. This is a benefit that every sponsor gets to, uh, gets to take advantage of. So if you click this, you'll see a description of it and how to post jobs. How this will work is I will send you a Drupal jobs coupon code uh, about 30 days prior to the DrupalCon. This is because your job postings will be live for 30 days from the day you posted and the code I give you will be live for only those 30 days as well. So when I give you a code, you want to select which one. So if you only are a regular posting, this is how you are. You have a, a maximum up to 10. If you're a feature job posting, your code will be good here, and you have a, the maximum of five. So if I want to add to cart, check out, again, you can have five at a time. This is where you will input your code. This will be discounted to zero, and there you go, a free posting on uh, Drupal Jobs, which is a very, very useful source if you're looking to hire any Drupal developers or anybody within the Drupal industry. Um, so let's go back here and check out another sponsorship. So say you are now the lounge sponsor. Click lounge and again, it's going to click to everything that you need about your sponsorship. Here's everything that it comes with, any details, any dates that's included. Um, if you need to order anything, here you go. And another benefit I'd like to cover that is um, included in everyone's sponsorship is the VIP or Sponsor Appreciation Happy Hour. Um, essentially what this is, is a get together for all the sponsors, all the supporters of the Drupal Association, and really just a time to celebrate or for us to thank you. There will be free beverages, food, good time, and, and it's really quite the experience, and it's a great time to network with all these other VIP uh, attendees. So how you want to take advantage of this is send me the names and the emails of the people who will attend uh, for your company. Uh, here are the amount of passes that come with each sponsorship. So basically just RSVP by sending me the name and email directly through the email through here, and I will take care of it. As soon as I get the names and the email, I will send them an invitation to the Sponsor Appreciation Happy Hour. All right, so again, not everything will pertain to you, so uh, I highly recommend you going through in here, uh, studying your sponsorship, everything that it comes with, all the benefits about your sponsorship and how to fulfill them. So again, this is daunting, but this will not all pertain to you. So next thing I want to cover is just the general exhibit hall. If you look here, you'll see the uh, exhibit hall schedule. Setup and load in will be on Monday, the 21st of September from 11 to 17 o'clock. Uh, and then opening reception will be from 17 to 1830. So it's important that your setup is done before then. And you, it's also important that whoever is going to be manning your booth or uh, exhibiting for your company is there for opening or reception. This night is a very important and crucial day for the exhibit hall for the fact that it's open to everyone. You'll see a lot of your traffic and a lot of your business happening then. So even though Monday is not officially a part of the Drupal conference, this Monday night is important for you if you are an exhibitor or if you have a booth. 
So make sure you're um, fully prepared and ready to go by then because this hour and a half you'll see tons of traffic and not to mention it's a good time. There'll be drinks and food uh, and really just a good way to kick off the opening or kick off the DrupalCon. Um, each day, Tuesday through Thursday, we'll start off with a keynote. And as soon as a keynote is open, the exhibit hall will open um, for people to attend. Uh, this is when people can come in through the entire day, but where you'll see the most traffic is going to be during the morning coffee break and during the lunch uh, break. So make sure your booth's ready to go and that your um, uh, booth, the people that are going to be manning your booth, they are already prepared. Uh, teardown will begin on Thursday at 15.30, so after the last session, that day, um, have your team in there, dismantling your products and services, um, making sure everything is getting prepared to be shipped back to your um, home location or working with the CCIB to have it taken care of for you. Um, so yeah, if you want some general uh, explanation about the exhibit hall, just look at the exhibit hall floor plan. Um, you can see the entire exhibit hall right here. Again, this is an overarching view. And I'll just do a basic rundown of how this is. People will be entering through here, 021 and 011. These are going to be the diamond, platinum, and gold booths. The silver tables are going to be these ones located on the edges of uh the exhibit hall and these tables are where people are going to be eating and drinking their coffee so these yellow lines you see here these are walls or temporary walls so the flow of traffic will generally be people enter through here they can view your exhibit get food through one of these lines by entering into this uh, uh, cafeteria or going directly to uh, the back of the room where food will also be served. So if you want to reference that, uh, you can access it here and you can see a key of explaining what everything is. So this is only for those people who are a uh, core sponsorship, but this is a good section to see on what comes with your booth. Um, each booth level or each sponsorship level has its own separate um, package. So again, you'll see that a diamond and platinum sponsors come with a six meter by two meter booth. Golds come with three meter and two meters booth. And the silvers come with a two meter by half meter table with chairs. Um, I'd like to point out now that as a silver sponsor, they're you will not be able to affix anything to the walls per the CCIB rules and regulations, but you will be able to set up uh, freestanding retractable banners to set up behind you. So these can be uh, no longer than two meters wide or the length of your or the width of your table. It's okay to go over it just a little bit, but please, please try to stay within that boundary. And again, this one fourth meter uh, in depth is to be uh, considerate of your neighboring booths. Here you can see the images of how your booths will be set up. Uh, here is what the diamond and platinums will look like. Some of them will be extending uh, beyond this because they have purchased an extra package. The gold ones will be set up like this. As you will notice, if you're the end, your wall will be open. Um, you will be separated by sponsorships, but if you don't want this open and you'd rather have it be a wall, please let me know uh, and we can have that set up for you. Uh, this is just a general setup of what the silver booth will look like. And again, all your gold, diamonds, and platinums will come with a table and chairs as well. And uh, I'd like to mention that the table will come with a black tablecloth. If you'd like a different color, You'll need to order that through the CCI beam. Uh, so now on to ordering products and services. We've covered most of it, but
But again, if you want to refresh of what you need to order, what you can order, this is what you'll need to do. Um, again, you can find everything you want through the CCIB Exhibitor Services Kit. I've already ran through it with you, but if you want to access it, here's a good place. And also a good place to find some general information about ordering carpet, ordering electricity, ordering catering, and uh, just generally having a better understanding. But again, as I said multiple times before, it's always better to contact the CCIB directly as not only will they be able to answer it quickly, but they'll be able to provide you the most accurate information. Um, so probably the most important page for you exhibitors will be this shipping information or the entire shipping information section. It is pretty complicated. So again, just like the CCIB, please, if you have any special needs, uh, questions or concerns, contact them directly. Here's their contact information. You can link directly to their email address and, uh, Ask them right there, but I'd like to cover a few things. Um, I can't stress the fact enough that shipping to the advanced receiving warehouse is the most recommended and will save you so much time and hassle. Uh, the deadlines again are the 10th of September. If you're with, if you're outside the eurozone, and the 14th of September, uh, if you're inside the eurozone. So please put that into your calendar. Um, if you are not going to be able to ship it to the advanced receiving warehouse for any reason, you need to work it out with uh, Reza directly. So you'll need to contact them, let them know your situation, and they will be able to best guide you on how to proceed from there. I'd also like to point out that there is a holiday on September 24th. So any courier companies that you want to work with that are not Reza will not be operating at this time. So this is another reason to also work directly with them as they will be able to service you if needed. Um, so let's get into shipping your booth and lounge materials. If you're shipping your booth and lounge materials, here's the process that you will need to follow. But... Um, but uh, what I want to show you specifically is the label. Look, sorry, there's a mistake there. The labeling instructions. You'll note that you're shipping it to Reza Logistics uh, for Drupalcon 2015, and essentially you're shipping it to yourself. So it's for you, which is your exhibitor name, to your booth number or lounge number. This is to ensure that your materials are actually in your booth space when you arrive. Um, you want to make sure to label the box number out of how many boxes to make sure that P Reza can keep track of how many boxes you have and to make sure they all have arrived. And please label your the outside of the box with your sponsors or with your company name. Um, I just, again, want to stress something. If you're shipping anything, the more labeling that you have on it, the better. Uh, so if you're shipping something for your booth, please put company name, booth, booth number, as prevalent as possible. If you're shipping something for catering, if you're shipping something for the tote bag, you're shipping something for opening reception, always make sure that at least one spot on the box it has your company name, what your sponsorship level is, and um, what it is for. So if it's for your booth, label it for the booth. If it's for catering, label it for catering because if you ship something and label it for the booth, we will not be, and it's actually for catering or for the tote bag, it's going to get lost and we're not going to be able to provide it during your said sponsorship. So going off that, if you're shipping for a tote bag or catering, this is how you want to make sure you want to label it. So this time you're actually going to be shipping it to me, um, but it's still going to be for your company. And then make sure you put your sponsorship here. So if it's for um, opening reception, if it's for lunch on Tuesday, if it's for uh, coffee on Wednesday, this is where you want to put that. 
and you want to make sure to label that this is not for your booth. So that's why you don't see a booth number here anywhere. But again, box number out of how many they are so we can keep track of everything. Another way to keep track of things, especially for tote bag items, catering items, and general items that will not be included in your booth, is to send me the tracking code. I uh, have a document going where I store all this so not only I but um, the entire production team can be sure to find your items, see if things have arrived on times, check to see where it's at any given time. So again, send me the tracking information. I'll make sure that it is in the right place. Again, shipping day of, that is not, um, not recommended, but if you need to, Please contact Marta or Jorge. They will be able to uh, help you out with that if it is needed. Here's your contact information before below. You can also um, view the, um, the shipping guide and manual, which is linked multiple times throughout the event kit. So the last thing I would like to cover on the event kit and for you is uh, on site at the DrupalCon. Um, as you should know by now, we are going to be at the Barcelona International Convention Center, also known as the CCIB. You can find their website here if you want even more information and detail about the CCIB. But um, in general, you'll be able to find a lot of information you need here. So registration will be open every single day this uh, of the week of the DrupalCon besides Friday, the 25th of September. So that means you'll be able to register. If you've already registered and redeemed a ticket, you'll be able to pick it up here. But you can also register on site. If there's more people that are going to attend that you didn't plan for, you can do that every single day of the week. And again, I will have a coupon code for you to receive an early bird discount. So if you're sending someone for one day and um, you hadn't registered them, have them go up to registration, let them know which company they are with, what sponsorship level is, and the people there will be able to provide you with a code to get a discount even to the day of, which is a wonderful benefit of sponsoring the DrupalCon. I've already gone over how to redeem and register for your coupon code, but if you want some more instruction, you can find it here. And also on site, um, you will be able to schedule a meeting with your uh, respective account managers. So whether it's Johanna, Mark, or Jenner, um, it's always recommended to schedule something to get a you know take advantage of this face-to-face -face opportunity, which is so rare when we're working with such a large and international community. So if you want to just talk about, you know, what other options are there? How can we support the DA? How can I utilize all these tools that we offer, whether it's um, sponsorships, one of our partner programs, whether it's um, web ads or Drupal jobs, this is a great way to talk with, talk to them with it or to even just recap what has been going on with this DrupalCon. So if you want to schedule a meeting with them, this is how you do it. Just contact them directly. They will be pretty busy, so it's important to uh, get it in there. Um, another thing that I just want to throw out there is sustainability. Um, putting on an event like this requires a lot of, a lot of effort, materials, um, garbage and waste and really I just want to ask you to minimize any of that we are trying our best to do the same and me now recently taking over this uh, position I've been uh, looking for ways to be more sustainable so any I mean I'm sure most of you are aware but if you have a chance to be sustainable take take advantage of it because uh, there's only one planet and this is our way to give back to it So everything I believe has been covered. Again, if you have any information, your go-to resources are going to be the Barcelona event kit or the sponsorship calendar. Uh, you can find really everything you need between the two. 
And uh, for added for added value, view the CCIB Exhibitor Services Kit or the Reza Shipping uh, and Handling Guide and Manual. So between the four resources, you should be able to find everything you need. But uh, some things you won't be able to find are how to take advantage of your time at DrupalCon. So if it's, um, you know, how, how to network, how to um, best get leads, attend this or at least watch the uh, recorded webinar, which will be made available on YouTube as always. So I'm going to take a brief look here and see if there's any questions. And it doesn't look like it. So thank you all so much for attending. Again, without your support, without your sponsorship, this would not be able to be ha this would not be able to happen. As a nonprofit, we rely heavily on you guys, and um, the Drupal community in general uh, is really, really supported by you guys. If you've noticed all the support or all the new improvements on Drupal.org all the new ways to contribute, all the new ways to make an impact on Drupal and on the Drupal community. It's much due to you guys. So again, from me and from the entire DA, we'd like to thank you. And I look forward to so much meeting you guys in DrupalCon Barcelona. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Here's my email address. Give me a phone call if you want to talk or message me on Skype. Uh, thank you guys very much for attending or watching this recorded webinar, and uh, we'll be in touch. Thank you.